let's see the final demo of this project click new pin say pins pins details page is saved check save pins you can see this new pin let's submit this form description username let's choose an image submit scrolling down already added let's delete delete this one so all pin organized nicely let's let's edit this pin so edited let's search this pin list let's five so the title contents with five already displayed let's click backward and forward button so everything is working as expected pins save pins close this left panel is scrolling down search download node.js in google and click the first link this is the download link as i am using windows so clicking 64 bit now downloading it's take few time this node.js need to install in your machine so it's very easy to install click next and accept the terms next 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 by default it will install in c drive install it will take couple of minutes to install in your machine the node.js let's wait few minutes so that it can be finished okay anyway finish click opening the command window search cmd command type a command node dash v it will show up the version of node let's check the npm version it's 5.6.0 let's download a text editor at home go through the first new link and click this button to download the atom text editor here we will write our code let's install this atom text editor it will take time in my case it's different because i already installed atom in my machine so it reinstall and update it anyway this is the text editor we will be using anyway let's cross here is the database of mongodb here you need to sign up at this website mlab.com i already have account so i am logging in with my credential this is the mongodb database you can create your table like no sql non relational database here we will create new database i will show you later this is the mongodb you need to create an account let's go to c drive i mean any drive you can go from here 
let's go to C drive let's make a directory mkdir a folder name Pinterest click enter it will create a folder name Pinterest here we can see P the Pinterest yes bottom it created let's go to this Pinterest folder change directory Pinterest let's run a command npm init it will initialize node package manager so the package we will get click enter 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 here we need to specify a name server.js then it we will write our code in this file okay click enter 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 yes type yes enter so package.json file automatic created after let's open the current directory using atom text editor here is that folder and this is the file what npm init command generated let's create a file name server.js here we need to write our code let's close few tabs and write few code here here we need to write some code to import few package like node just a runtime environment of javascript so express here express is the framework we will be using to make a web application so here we are importing the express later we will install this npm packages let's copy paste few package here we need to write body parser body parser package we need to parse the body to get the value from the form fields or anyway body parser morgan we need this mongoose mongoose is for database to save and query the database from the mongodb we need ejs the engine view engine uh, we will write ejs javascript code in our view page this is the engine engine is ejs dash mate now we need to specify the file upload so here we will use express file upload the package to upload the file to the server that's it for this application we need this few package that's it let's initialize let's install all of this package let's write a command npm install first line is express let's write express space now body parser space now third is Morgan Morgan space mongoose now EJS EJS mat and last one is express file upload 
space dash dash save so it will download the package after clicking install button it will take few minutes to install all of this package and already you can see the left side node modules folder already generated and the package.json file already updated let's initialize the express object we will be using this express framework so mongoose here we need to write some code to connect database mongoose.connect here will be connection string will be go and func function callback it is if we get error otherwise it's connected if we get any error then we can log our information in our console window it will throw error else we will show uh, the database is connected in our console window so that we can verify okay this app is running smoothly connected to the database so let's create a database let's cre create new link and select Amazon free sandbox continue select US East continue uh, give a database name uh, Pinterest continue uh, submit the order oh database created this is our database you can we need to create a user to access this database click users okay it database user a model window will pop up and here username will give root and password one two three four five six let's write again one two three four five six create so this user already created this user can access this database with this password Let's scroll up copy this string path of connection string of mongodb and place it here here we need to write our user root and password is one two three four five six that's it it will automatically connect the database using mongoose space app dot listen here we are we will write some code to open a server here we are specifying 8090 this is the port number and this is the callback function let's copy few code from this mongoose if error and if else condition and copy and paste it here so if error will show an error message and if connected that means server running in port 1819 okay we can test let's run the server node server to so here you can see connected to port so air and connected to db so database already connected let's specify a route so that we can see something in the browser app.get get request and slash 
so it's initial callback function request response next here we need to display some message response dot json and any string you can hello so let's control c to stop this server and let's install nodemon nodemon is a package it will help us to restart our server automatically so that we can no need to stop manually and start the server again so this nodemon very useful so npm install nodemon dash g it will install the nodemon globally it will take a few time to install let's run this server nodemon server click enter so 8090 port is open to use and database already connected let's see in the browser 8090 local host 8090 let's write local host and give the port 8090 so here is the json message what we write in our code let's write few middleware code so that we can work with our application smoothly first of all need to use app dot use file upload this will help to upload the file app dot use here we need to specify express we need this express here we are specifying express dot static so directory directory name plus a folder slash public it will help you we are specifying this because we will create a folder public and here all CSS JavaScript file will be goes here and uh, we are specifying specifying this path like this way so that no need to write the full path we'll show in the layout file how we call the css and javascript file so easily because of this middleware we'll see no problem so here using app.engine ejs as an engine we'll use this ejs in our view page we'll see here we are setting the view engine ejs mate ejs dash here app dot use need to specify body parser we need to pass parse the body as json so that we can get the value as json object app dot use body parser url encoded again we can use this application body parser as url encoded extended true this property we need to specify as true value so this is the middleware function so far app.use morgan dev this middleware need to be 
initialized at server.js file. Let's create a folder routes. Here all routing, gate post, all function will be placed. Let's create main.js file. Here we need to export few function. Let's cut this piece of code and paste it here. And here I need to write module export so that we can export this function in other in server.js file. Module.exports equal function. This app belongs to express we will pass from server.js let's cut and paste it here let's get this file function from this server.js so need to specify the require require the main.js file current current directory slash main routes folder slash main then need to pass the express object app so we can refresh this page results are the same so that function can be called from other file main.js let's create a new folder views here all view pages html file with ejs code will be placed let's create a new folder here uh, this is pins pins enter so pins folder already created let's create a new file mm, layout this is the master page we will be using for this application layout.ejs the extension is ejs because we will write ejs code javascript code we will write create a new file here index page here all pin list will be show, displayed we will write code later let's download bootstrap template search bootstrap go to the first link and need to click examples scrolling down and here need to click hello world this template we will be using view page source let's copy all the code and paste in here index.ezx file uh, we need to place in layout file actually anyway we need to redirect to the pins slash index page this page actually so save and run it let's see what we will get without CSS the page looks like this need to apply the bootstrap CSS actually we didn't download the bootstrap CSS and .js file what we can do we need to download a source of CDN bootstrap CDN so go to this link and get the bootstrap source link and this JS file will place here so that it can download from the CDN server this two skills we don't need and scroll up we don't need this icon here we need bootstrap main.css let's 
copy this path and paste it here let's see here now everything is just like same as what we saw in the bootstrap template page so looks nice let's place this whole HTML code from index.egs file control all select and paste it here layout.egs file already pasted so here is the main container we can see we already cut this main container and delete everything and paste just the main coin container uh, in the index page let's specify layout at the top of this index.egs file so that master page will be invoked automatically layout bracket and the file name is layout so this is the small portion here we want to show that partial portion of index index.egs file HTML tag here inside this master page so here body render section body will be rendered refresh same so everything is okay we no need this HTML code as here we need pins list to display let's refresh this page top navigation bar is okay but we can see the pinterest list let's remove few links from this top navigation bar go to layout.egs file scrolling up and need to find out those links let's remove few HTML tags of list element let's remove and specify few links what we will need to generate here initial the pins here the pin list after clicking this link we will see pin list and let's name it new pin here we need to give a link to create a new pin after clicking this link a form tag will be pop up we will implement those page later let's refresh this page this is the link let's click new pins this route need to be implemented let's create a file inside routes folder name it pins.js here we need to specify few routes uh, need to specify pins slash create app dot route slash pins slash create when that button click this function will be invoked dot this is the get function dot get the callback function parameter is rec res and next parentheses response dot render so the file will be pins slash create so this file dot ejx file will be invoked let's create a create dot ejx file 
new file create dot ejx enter so this file will be invoked when that button will be clicked let's any name we are giving and sir need to specify this require so that we can call the pins page from here so here we need to specify module exports so that this function can be invoked from other files let's specify function here we need to pass the express object app let's cut and paste it inside module exports let's click this here you can see create that's it so here we are deleting other files here need to specify the layout the master page layout and the master page name is layout let's write few HTML code so that we can see the form tag and few text box and submit button so that we can create a pin here deep tag and class container it will automatically take few padding from right left top and bottom side here div tag the class we are specifying the row this is the best practice of bootstrap using bootstrap actually here we are using bootstrap 4 so one row inside that row we are specifying the grid system as column large screen 10 so 10 it will take so first header header we are giving new pin create a new pin this header text will be showed at the top of this page so specifying form tag here we need to specify the text box so the role should be for and the method is a post so that we can send the value from this page to the server as a post request and here we will submit the file that's why we are writing ink type multipart slash form data we need to submit the file like image here we are specifying form group uh, this is the part of bootstrap we need to specify so that it will look nice then inside form group we used to write label and the for attribute we need to specify for equal so that when we you click the level it will automatically pass to the text box according to the ID input type is text need to specify inside column need to specify name okay class and form control so that it will take the full width and name need to specify so that we can uh, get that value through this name okay copy this form group and paste it couple of times so that we can generate multiple text box 
at the end we need a button to submit this form value to the server here button and the button name is submit and here we need to specify the type equal submit so that the this button can post this form like submit this form and class the button color button and button success uh, it will show as uh, green as success the color let's see the form here is the form without level just checking here we need to create a folder name models here we need to specify a pin model let's create pin.js file here we need to specify a model which will represent a table of a database so that here we can query this table like like as table it's not it's non-relational table is here is specifying the mongoose the database to connect so that we can create this model schema uh, in the mongodb database so variable schema we are specifying mongoose dot schema this object we are initializing and storing it schema variable so here variable pin schema this variable equal new the this schema will be using parent bracket parentheses so column you can see title as a string so normally in a pin we will see title description path like image path username who the user creating this pin so this path is a string here is save that pin is saved by user or not this data type is boolean so these are the column values we will see in the pin table module dot exports equal mongoose dot model so when the database will be connected this pin model will be generated in the database this you can think as pin table which has four columns uh, title desk path is saved we are passing pin schema object so that it can detect and create that DB object for us let's specify title here and inside for attribute and label is title t i t l e colon then the second column desk let's copy and paste in the name and in the for attribute and inside this should be text area not text box because text description need to be right so many so many things need to be specified inside a description panel so copy this text area and paste at the end tag and this description label need to be specified here description and colon and third column is path we forgot to write another column i think let's see this file yes we need another field which is username and this field also represent as a string data type copy this username 
and paste it in name field name attribute and inside for attribute and the label is created by who the user is creating this pin actually so need to specify path for to upload file to browse let's type equal file so that we can browse uh, any file and no need here this file is mandatory so specify and required so that before submitting it can check the file you specified or not no need class form control here need to specify name equal sample file upload let's write this name copy this name and place it inside for attribute and level is image path okay colon okay that's it so when the database will be connected this pin will be generated let's refresh this page here is our print creation page uh, looks almost good need to specify margin let's go to layout and find out render body section let's wrap this render body inside div tag let's write div and class will be container let's specify a margin a style margin uh, 20 pixel yes okay let's place this render body section inside this div tag okay let's format a little bit let's refresh this page oh the header we cannot see because top navigation bar is fixed let's remove the fixed top class from the top navigation bar then refresh yeah, now it's okay now this almost okay good uh, after submitting this we need to implement the post method so that removing footer we don't need footer let's go to pins.js file and let's implement the post function here need to copy here paste and name it post bracket second bracket first bracket here we need to get the all text box value and save it in the database let's initialize few things first we need path so that we can use this path to place the file in the exact folder and here we need the pin model so then we can create the pin object and save in the mongodb database let's this pin directory is previous directory slash model slash pin folder here we will see the pin this pin model okay pin already initialized let's create a pin object variable pin equal new pin first bracket so in initialized so here pin dot title we will get from request body dot title the form tag after submitting we will get this title from that create new page copy this line and paste couple of times so that we can map 
other properties like description, path, username, etc. Description here need to specify username and this username request dot body dot username will get is save this value is always false when the user create a pin at initial time if uh, request don't have any file then we don't need this operation we need to throw error because when a user try to create a pin we for we need to force the user to give a picture of the pin anyway we specified required attribute in that in that for tag here is specifying a variable let sample file request files dot and the file name we specified in that page is sample file that's why we write sample file let file name file name should be a unique number so that we can upload so many pictures in unique number otherwise it will throw exception that's why we need unique number so math dot random dot two string 26 dot slice uh, two uh, this will create uh, digits of random number and the extension we are giving dot jpg so any image you will upload it the extension will be dot jpg <coughs> so here we are initializing the path so here path is current directory slash public slash the public folder we will already created here need to specify a folder files here all image will be saved so that's why we are giving this file with file name this is the file path and we are storing this path string inside that model column like table we are saving this path the path will be slash files plus file name so this is the pin path let's need to move this file from client machine to the server so sample file dot move mv then need to specify path dot callback function it's success or not we will detect error is the callback if error then need to throw exception and if success then that means the file upload is success so if error return response dot status 500 dot send as error in the client machine let's save the pin to the database pin dot save the callback function the error if any error occurred so if error then need to throw exception throw the error directly that means it can't save the pin in the database of mongodb database if success then need to render 
to the index page where the pin list will be displayed that means after creating a pin we can see that pin in that pin list page so the path is pins slash index let's create a folder name files inside public folder here all image will be placed and pins index don't have any route need to specify a route so that it can redirect to this page app.get this is get request and slash pin slash index and the callback function parameter will be rec res and next here need to render the pin need to find okay just here we are querying the all pin from the mongodb database whatever already have in the pin table so here we are querying all pin pin dot find and empty parameter means we are querying all pin if here the callback function will return the pin list that means pins let's render this scrolling down pins index this page we need to pass pins list let's pass this list of model object here write pins this pins name need to be mapped in the view engine page pins at the end need to specify colon semicolon let's save it uh, this page already created pins okay implementation completed after creating pin we can see redirect it to the pin list page let's giving title description and created by an username and try to submit we need to give of image then it will it can submit after submitting this page here you can see the pin list but need to specify pin let's see the database to check the record is saved or not refreshing the page after collection you can see the one pin already added to the pin this is the value we already gave you can see and check this is the path is save username column value so everything is okay let's go to pin list page here we need to display all pin like title description image everything so that end user can see the list of pin let's specify a few HTML tag div tag with class container and space here need to operate for loop we need here we are we need to give an ID here need to specify few ejx code for loop all the pin so that we can display one by one if variable i equal one i equal zero and i less than the pins the pins we will get from server pins dot length and space at the end i plus plus we will loop to here we are looping through the all pin list then create angular less than then here need to specify 
second bracket for loop completed inside this for loop we need to specify few HTML tags to display the pin here div tag with container class no need container here need an image okay style margin 20 pixel it will take 20 pixel from everywhere and let's specify anchor tag inside this div tag and this link will be let's see what maybe title href we need to specify a link path for get request pins details slash the pin id we need to pass here percentage percentage and space space equal we need to specify pins then specify i dot id underscore id the id value will get from after serializing this pins object here inside this link we are specifying an image so image source path we will get from pin dot path uh, so we need to copy this portion from here and place it here and replace dash id with path so that we can see the image and this image should have a width so style width so width should be 200 pixels will be good let's write an header to see the title let's write anchor tag and this will redirect to the details page let's copy this href and place inside this anchor tag copy this and place it inside header tag and this should be title so here the you can see you will see the pin title inside header and writing the paragraph here we need to display the pin description so here submitted by the username so username will be get from pins i dot username let's replace this path with username let's specify the description so here we are writing a anchor link class button this button is for um, delete so that the end user can delete the pin after clicking this delete button the delete button is button de default and href we copy from details and path is pin slash delete and id and text will be delete go to pins let's refresh this you can see the pin we already created after clicking this delete button we need to delete this pin let's 
remove all other tabs go to index.ejx file this delete link need to be implemented here we need to write a function let's copy this portion and paste below this file and this need to be delete function here pins slash delete and here the id will be passed as query string query so pin dot find need to find a single pin let's specify id whatever we will get from request params dot id this is the parameter value what we will get from that so this single pin will get and this pin need to be removed dot remove function will remove that pin from mongodb database dot execute exec and the callback function we need to write let's implement this the error and the found pin the pin what the what will rem be removed from database then response dot redirect to the index page so this copy this portion route path and paste it here that's it so if i click this delete link it's deleted and there is no pin let's create few pin giving title a description and username and select uh, image let's go to downloads I already downloaded few image from the Google let's select first one and click submit here you can see giving title again and the description and the file need to select to open submit here you can see to list create again title description and need to choose a file and image 3 open submit so three pin you can see in the pin list page the pins index page actually so this is not in proper format let's close few tab and search images loaded cdn we need this jquery script to beautify this page actually so let's go to this link open a new tab scrolling down and need to find out the source path let's copy this script and need to specify in our master page the layout.ejs file let's specify inside head tag bottom of this head tag and we need another jquery file which is masonry cdn we need need to find masonry cdn let's find out this first go to first link and the package this one let's copy and need to place it inside the layout.ejx file let's place it here cop cut and place it at the bottom of the head tag so this is the index page need to call the masonry and images loaded function from that plugin so writing script tag here 
go to pins layout need to specify that jQuery plugin cut this jQuery file and place it at the top of the images loaded because this is the dependency of other file so need to specify first is copy this script because we made a mistake this file is a script file so need to place here okay that's it so this images loaded function need to be called from here let's implement jquery on ready state here when document is ready this piece of code will be invoked here we are selecting pins this pins is let's give a div id pins and this pins dot images loaded function this is the function of that images loaded plugin here L is uppercase bracket here need to specify a function when the image will be loaded then this piece of code will be invoked here need to specify pins need to select the pins ID dot masonry need to pass few parameter value here item select the item selector will be box let's specify this class dot box inside div tag div class box so after pins id this box is the item selector so there will be too many boxes inside this pins id so is fit with true so that width can be fit inside that browser refresh the whole page you can see now everything is looks fine if i shrink you will see a amazing look and feel good uh, let's create few pin so that you can realize how good it is let's select uh, image open submit let's add few more pins title description choose a file open submit again title is t6 description and choose a file 6 open submit let's create more the more you will see the pin list uh, more I can show you the the looks and beauty of the pin list let's create more description d8 okay actually i am giving the random number actually i want to create this pin list so quickly as soon as possible new pin title 9 d9 and the image is 9 actually i want to create all the pin whatever images I downloaded from the internet so description choose a file d10 submit okay here is the pin list let's shrink a little bit so that you can see when I shrink how it randomize the all pin 